say that obviously this is how we do stuff at Green Power, but I'm going to be really interested to find out from the group work how everyone else um, does it as well, because I'm sure there's loads of ideas and you know, I'm sure you're doing lots of fantastic things in your agency already. Um, so just a really brief introduction to who Woolly Power are and who I am. So um, Woolly Power Gyro um, is a healthcare advertising agency. Um, we're based in Covent Garden and um, there's about 30 of us um, in the Covent Garden office at the moment. So we are um, in the industry have some quite a creative boutique reputation um, and our core belief is to have um, intelligent engaging ideas at night. Um, now we're also part of the larger Gyro Network, so um, who Emma sort of is um, the UK talent partner for. And um, we have um, probably 400 people across four different continents. Um, so that's a really great one, we're sort of looking at tapping into resource and stuff within the network. Um, and as Gwen mentioned, we are winners of the IPA Gold Accreditation for CPD for three consecutive years. Um, and really hoping to get that fourth as well. So, um, and then just Briefly about myself, I'm Operations Director. Um, I've got a really broad um, role within the agency, um, so, but if I were to sum it up, it's just to talk about people, process, productivity, and profitability, and of course, driving the very best in CPD at the new power. Um, so, I think it's always important to think about the why we do things. So, the why, the reason, the purpose of our welcome programme. So um, to, the purpose of it is to help people quickly understand the why, the how, the what, the who as quickly as possible. So this is you know, getting people integrated into the team really quickly. Um, and that you know, will help you with you know, these people being sort of productive, um, working to their best potential. And um, you know, it's good for morale. Our, our people really like being part of the Welcome Programme as well. So you know, people really love to talk about their subjects and what they're knowledgeable on. So um, just generally, agency morale is sort of important for. And also, research suggests that it's really good for retention as well. So um, I think that's the IPD research. So it's a, the more thought out, um, best found Welcome Programmes are more likely, you know, to keep staff under. So I'm just going to sort of briefly go back to um, the why, the why we do things. Um, and this is a really simple model that we use at Audi Power. I'm sure a lot of you have seen it as well. So um, the people that are influenced, um, sorry, we use this within sort of our client work as well. So um, when we think about our client challenges and also about what we do at Audi Power internally as well. So people are influenced by the why we do things more than they are, um, and then by the how and the what. So when we're talking about our client challenges, we encourage them to think about you know, why their brand um, or <coughs> exists, and then how and what they make because of it. Um, and then you know, at We Power, we think the why should influence everything that we do. So that's what we do when we're thinking about how we train our staff, you know, our reduction programs, our recruiting process, and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so the best welcomes, this is the you know, things that I think um, include. So um, the best welcomes <coughs> are the beginning of the recruitment stage. So this is um, often the, the candidate's, you know, the person's first introduction to the agency. Um, so it's really important how you, you know, might be how you talk to recruiters, for example, about your company, about the role and the, you know, the, the roles and responsibilities. Um, and they also reflect you know, the brands, the values, the culture of your agency as well. So you know, you've really got to get some of those soft touches in as well, so people sort of really get to know your agency um, you know, from a friendly point of view as well. Um, they're adapted depending on the size and you know, the role as well. So you, know, you might be part of a really big um, network or agency, so they might have more formal kind of, um, you know, presentations where smaller ones will have one-to-one -one kind of meetings and stuff. Um, and it's really important they're simple and relevant. You know, you don't want to be bombarding people with too much information within the first couple of weeks, um, with you know that just seems sort of completely irrelevant to them. Um, and you know, cause it, it's just like well, that basically. Um, they also involve senior management as well. So we always get our managing director involved, our you know executive creative director involved. Um, so that makes people, the person, feel you know important and welcome sort of straight away. Um, and um, we use people from different levels and different departments as well. So you get to grips with you know, everyone's roles and responsibilities and personalities within the agency. 
and of course include something fun and social as well. So, you know, we will have a welcome lunch on the first day. We always have agency drinks or, you know, on a Friday, so and we'll welcome the person very quickly into the agency and you know, various social committee events and stuff as well. Um, so it's important to think, uh, you know, a plan before they start as well. So I've already mentioned about sort of, you know, how we talk to recruitment agencies and also how we interview as well. You know, when that person comes in for an interview, that's the first time that they will meet you, um, you know, and be a representative of the agency. So it's really important that they are welcoming and engaging as well. And that you know you give the uh, recruiters or the person really timely specific feedback, so they're kind of catching the loop of what's going on all the time. So once they've obviously got to the point where you know an, an offer has been made and they've accepted, we obviously have to think about all the um, I don't know, legal stuff, you know, the admin before someone starts as well. So getting all the offer letters, contracts, you know, payroll in place, and all that kind of stuff. Setting up their desk, that's pretty simple. Um, but you know, nothing would be worse than sort of joining an agency and the drawers be full of someone else's stuff that was there before you. Make sure it's all clean and clear. Um, you know, their computers all set up, emails ready to go. And it does sound simple, but you know, I've, I've seen it where and people don't do that, and it's, it's just not a very nice welcoming um, way to come into the agency. Um, then making sure there's a welcome pack in place. So um, just a few examples of things that we do. Um, so within the welcome pack, we'll have an itinerary of the things that they do within their first sort of a week, month, you know, within the agency. Um, we to pass that round. Yeah, or yeah. Really? Fantastic. We just start. We probably don't want this. It's the seating plan. That's <laughs> <Yeah, it's> fine. <laughs> so we include the seating plan, so people know. You know, it's really tough to get through to everyone's names and stuff. So um, that'll be included. An organisational chart as well. Um, you know, how to use a calendar, there's just, you know, lots of information within that pack. And then we also sort of include company literature as well. So this is a book that our executive creative director, Dean Woolley, wrote. So we give this a gift to um, people when they first start. So fantastic. Um, we also include uh, the gyro launch pad. So this is um, something that Emma's worked really hard to um, adapt and it works really, it's a sort of flexible tool really. Um, it's an introduction to the group and the network. So that works alongside um, our induction programme as well. So That's a really big help. Can I just say that I think the seating plan is just one of the most useful things that you can do for people. Yeah. Um, because it's just a blur of the people and it just helps you feel confident that when you go up to someone they are who you think, <coughs> you think they are. Yeah. So it's a really good idea. Well, we've had someone start last week and he's literally going around the agency with yeah. the plan, so, um, And then this is um, our kind of company brochure, we call it the book, well, it's actually a newspaper, but this um, uh, describes who, the what, how of um, what you have in the gyro network. So we make sure that people have the copy Fantastic. Are they different ones or the same one? This one is um, Woolly Power, so that's kind of ah, okay. so 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 the and this is a gyro network. So I might start these are at they, the back. Are they um, like one of them they every month? No, not every month. We probably do that two a year, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, it's going to start running out within the next month. Yeah. So that, that was actually written by um, Dean Woolley, um, the newspaper's. Um, so it's sort of really reflective of you know Woody Powell's culture and Jairo's culture as well. So and it's it's actually you've got a global look. Um, I yeah. would for something like that when I was in Ken. Yeah, yeah, it's really great. Um, so then, so that's all in place. Welcome pack in place. Um, and then what I always do is make sure that I do a phone call um, to you know the person before they start, a couple of days before they start. Obviously, you're kind of talking to them quite a lot, um, you know, throughout the recruitment stage. But you know, just to make sure they're all set, ready. You know, do they have any questions? Um, and then we pre-launch them to the agency as well. So as soon as we feel that we can sort of announce someone, you know, joining us in the agency, we will announce it in our agency meetings, and we we'll almost almost do it like a countdown. Um, so you know, we'll kind of give a, a, a bio of who they are, and every week, like, don't forget this person starting. So it's like a, a, a nice build up, and everyone knows who to, you know, who's coming through the door and who to expect. Um, so now I'm just going to talk to you through the, the sort of some of the things, the key things that we include within our induction plan. 
Um, but obviously this will um, adapt because, as I say, you know, the, the key things with a, a welcome program is that it does change and that it is relevant. But we do make sure that these things are ticked off with sort of every individual within the agency when they join. Um, so always make sure that there's someone <coughs> there to welcome them. Again, it sounds really simple, but you know, there's someone there to take them around the building, introduce them to people, where the tea and coffee are, all that kind of stuff. Um, then we do an office induction. So this will be you know, things like how to book a meeting room, what you know, how to send out posts, all that kind of stuff. Um, getting rid of the keys and codes for access to the office. Health and safety as well, core thing that has to um, go on every single induction. Um, but you know, it's all important to understand how to bend your knees. <laughs> <laughs> so then, um, briefing on the role, I'm sorry, welcome lunch, very important one. So that's always usually, not, sometimes with the team, it depends on the person again, you know, it'll be sort of the line manager or the co worker taking them out, or it could be a peer, you know, within the agency. Um, we're in Covent Garden, so there's like loads of nice restaurants to choose from for that. Um, and then briefing on the role and the job description, so this will always be um, with the line manager, and this is usually on the first day, so obviously, you know, in the recruitment process, they'll have an idea of, you know, should have a very good idea of what they're coming into, the roles and responsibilities, but this really sets it, you know, from the start, day one, of um, the key things that, you know, they are all be responsible for. Reading company literature, we tend to, as you say, I've, as I say, I've included all those bits within the pack, but we will ask, we almost sort of set aside a time for someone to go through that, so I think sometimes, you know, you can be so busy in your first couple of weeks, it is really important that people take the time to read the company literature, literature and, you know, it's almost like expected that people will be familiar with it. Um, we'll do um, a, a talk on processes, so this is often by somebody from the creative department and somebody from our account handling department and we'll just talk about our, you know, our work in progress, the sign-off kind of process and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then the employee handbook and company benefits, so this will be me usually um, talking you know, what, what the process will be if you're sick or um, you, know, you want to take holiday or you know, how you get paid and all that kind of stuff. So I'll talk through the person within their first week about all those key things. And of course, what the company benefits because they're you know the things that the nice things that they're entitled to. Introduction to Studio and ISP. Um, sounds boring, but actually people love this bit. I think is the person who delivers it. Um, but you know, it'll talk about you know how you file things on the server, um, what you can download, what you can't download, and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then an introduction to our finance system. So we use Creeper. So we need to make sure that um, you know people understand the finance system how to log their timesheets, the importance of timesheets, and all that kind of stuff. So you're kind of instilling that from the beginning. Um, I always do the IPA and instruction to the IPA and CP did goals. <laughs> um, and that's, that's always been probably the first two weeks of someone joining the agency. Um, as soon as you come into our agency, I think you can see how important it is to our culture. And actually, we talk about it quite a lot in interviews and obviously with the recruitment agencies. Um, but that is, you know, something that I would go through. So they understand how to log on to the website, how to use the CPD diaries, um, and the, the, you know, the connection between, um, you know, CPD and how it helps your business and all that kind of stuff. Um, the ABPI is our industry guidelines, so that's something really important for everyone to, to go through. And then the next couple of ones. So the creative talk. So this is um, by Dean Woolley. So. Um, he's the guy who wrote those books and, and the, um, the brochures. Um, and um, he will sit down with every new starter and talk through the book um, and you know, the how and the what and the why of what you have. Um, and the strategy talk, so that is um, strategy at the heart of every department is one of our sort of business goals at Woody Power. So we always include a talk with the strategy director. Um, and a talk for user experience director as well. So, you know, we're getting real senior management sort of involved and they, they set a time, you know, a decent amount of time with every new person. And I think they really enjoy talking about their subject. So, and then the key one um, is the involvement of the managing director. So, um, every new starter will be introduced to, well, you know, straight away, you sort of can't help but miss him, but um, <laughs> he will talk through the business goals. So, you know, he will kind of, 
people understand what where the business is going from the start and how they can kind of influence it as well and you know, what they can do to help us reach our goals. Um, and he loves coffee, so he talks people through the espresso coffee machine as well and how to use it properly. <laughs> it's really difficult. <laughs> no, it's like literally press a button, but for some reason people get um, confused by it. Um, and then we do um, a credentials presentation as well, so that will be usually Ed or it could be a senior account director or you know, someone from the client services team who will talk people through case studies so they really understand you know, the, the things that we, the work we've done um, previously. Um, and then agency drinks, so that's something that we do every um, Friday. So we have a number of people uh, going into the agency. So quite a lot going on there, that's usually within the first couple of weeks of someone starting. Um, and then we do some nice soft things as well. So um, this is something that we ask people <coughs> to send out an email within their first week um, of their five things. So um, they're interesting facts, a book everyone should read, must have DVD box set, holiday destination, recent creative achievement. Um, and they're, they're really good. It, it's the first opportunity for someone to kind of, you know, tell them about themselves really, I guess. And if you think about the whole welcome programme, you're telling them a lot about the company. And this is a really sort of friendly way, the way to get people, you know, then to sort of tell them a bit about themselves. And it really does spark a lot of conversations and stuff. And it's great when you're trying to figure out where you're going to have to go on holiday. <coughs> um, we're an agency that loves to team as well. So um, when within the welcome pack, we include your what's your perfect cover. Um, sheet. So we ask people to um, fill in how they like to take their tea um, and then this then gets sort of put up um, within the kitchen as well so you know we're always doing tea rounds and things like that and it's really hard to remember how people like their tea so it's sort of just a nice little you know soft way to get people introduced to the agency. And then we also do, um, so we also love cake, so we've, um, as everyone does, um, so we've rebranded our um, staff room to the cake room. Um, so when people start, it's, it's quite a sort of nice friendly space, and when people start we ask them to bring in um, a photo of themselves when they're little, and it kind of gets added to the family, so it sounds a bit cheesy, but it's sort of a nice thing to do. Um, so there's some of the soft things. So then we have to just think about how we sort of improve on things as well. So, um, you know, I will always meet with the, the new person within the first month just to make sure you know, they're taking off the things on their reduction plan. How's it going? Is there anything that we can do differently? Because, um, you know, sometimes they'll be from other agencies, they'll see how other agencies have done it. Um, so it's always good to get their feedback. And we'll do the same in three months. Um, in their sort of probation review just to check that they've um, achieved everything. Monthly one-to-ones that we do as well. And it's always a question, you know, as I say, um, they say a well thought out, welcome program and help to start retention. So if you do include that question with the next interview, you might sometimes get some useful feedback as well. So that's how we do things. So really looking forward to hearing what you guys do as well. Thank you so much.